in this lecture we discuss image transformation so as we know in this era of technology images play a huge role in delivering important and technical information from one place to another place but not all the images are good enough to deliver particular message so what we do we have to apply transformation techniques but first we have uh, to understand what is transformation so transformation are the functions that map one set to an other set after performing some operations so transformation use operation uh, to set the image to manipulate the image so what is image transformation but first we have to understand uh, what is digital image processing systems so digital image processing system used to process the image and uh, for this we uh, use a camera to capture the image and after we get an image we have to send it to the digital image processing systems and these systems use some rules algorithms to manipulate the image and in the last we get a processed image so this is a way in which uh, we process the image by using digital image processing systems so now we discuss image transformation so transformation are the operations that we use to map one set to another set so image transformation refer to a process in which we manipulate various bands of image data the data is manipulated from one or more than one multispectral images these images may also consist of same area that is captured at different time so for example um, remote sensing images these uh, we applied image transformation process on these images uh, to process them so these images are captured using satellites and uh, different operations are applied to them these operations aim for image transformation that is helpful in further analyzing of the image no matter what method we adopt we get a new image generated from one or more than one source so these are called image transformation let's consider the equation gxy is equal to t into fxy here fxy is an input image on which transformation function has to be applied and uh, t is the transformation function and uh, gxy is the output image or processed image that we get after applying transformation functions on the input image so the relation between the input image and the processed image that is out that is our output can also be represented as s is equal to t into r where r is the actually the pixel value or a gray level intensity of uh, input image fxy at any point and uh, s is the pixel value or a gray level intensity of uh, output image at any point so uh, this is a relationship between the input and the output image now we are going to discuss some more basic and important information of transformation functions so consider this graph in this graph we have two points p and r and two intensity values 0 and 1 and uh, the transformation function is t so let's take point r at 256 and uh, point p at 127 and uh, consider this image to be ppp image that means uh, we have only two intensity values 0 and 1 but uh, if all the pixel intensity value that are below than 127 means uh, at point p they are in zero means they are black color and uh, if all the pixel intensity value that are greater than 127 they are one means they are in white color but uh, what if we get 127 the exact point then there is a sudden change in the transformation so we cannot tell at exact point the value would be zero or one in mathematically transformation functions can be represented as gxy output image is equal to 
if uh, the intensity value less than 127 then we get zero and uh, if the intensity value greater than 127 then we get white so in this uh, by using these equations we decide if the uh, image is in black or in white color after transformation so here we have an other transformation so let's see what is in it so in this graph we can see a straight line and uh, the input image uh, value and the output image value are same which means the input and the output functions are equal so in mathematically we represent as g x y is equal to f x y means uh, input function is equal to the output function so the images are input image is equal to the output image we can see uh, clearly the input image is is exactly same as the output image so this is the transformation and uh, in the next video we'll discuss what are the types of transformation in the digital image processing and uh, thank you for today and uh, if you like the video then subscribe our channel